good morning everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is day four of the remodel. As you can hear, my husband is doing some sanding. Um, I worked a little bit on the ceiling and you can see a little bit more of the, the ceiling that's opened over there. He's sanding uh, the doorway and getting some areas ready for mud. We are going to have to mud uh, the corners especially by the front door. I'm going to take you guys out for a minute. It's really hot here, and I'm a little under the weather. I'm very, very, very um, stuffy. And it's a nice sunny day, but it's also supposed to be really hot for the next four days. I, just, I got what I needed. Oh, okay. I, mean, my... I, just, I, I, I like the paper now. Okay, my husband said he got what he needed, although, well... This is... This well, is, I haven't even done that. Yeah. This is what I was doing. Oh, okay. This was all. Yeah, so he, he's... He's getting better. He's, he's filing this because what we're going to do is you can tell this is really stained from all the years of smoking and stuff. Is I'm going to paint this. And this is kind of the entrance way that would... Um, this is my refrigerator. So this is kind of what you would call a doorway that goes from uh, the front hall slash living room into the kitchen. I'm going to paint this this part white. That That's going to separate the kitchen from the living room. So he's been sanding uh, today and just smoothing out the rough parts because he did spackle some in the kitchen. And there are, are areas that really need to have the spackle. They also need to have the mud. I'm having a, a harder time with the ceiling because some of the ceiling just does not want to peel. But I'm going to work on the ceiling over the stove today and see if I can knock out more of the strip. Um, you can see, I don't know if you guys really can see it, but there is paint that is, is chipping. And I got a uh, metal... One. And, and to use this, you have to be very careful because this can actually go right into the drywall. And there is a couple of small spots where I accidentally did that, but those are easy to repair. They just need to have a light spackle put on, and that fills up the little little gouge mark that I did. But other than that, that um, is your update pretty much for today. I'll, I'll come back maybe later. I'm going to work on it for a little while today. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot today because like I said, I'm very stuffy and I think it has to do with I'm breathing in, in the chipped paint plus the dust that my husband is doing when he sands is starting to affect affect me. Um, and also the heat of the day is, is really going to affect me. So I'll be back later on today with some updates. We're going to get started. We're probably a good week from, from painting, if not a little bit more. We still need to wash all the walls and the trim. And then we need to tarp and cover everything before we even attack, uh, attack the uh, ceiling. So that's going to be today's project on day four of the kitchen remodel. I'll be back later. Okay, hi all. Welcome back to my kitchen. I of course, this is still day four of the remodel. And there's been kind of some changes. And you'll notice up above the stove, my husband washed that and took all the grease off. So that's coming. I was able to get most of this, except for this one little area is being a little bit stubborn. But I was able to get all, don't look against the wall. I haven't touched those yet. And I'm going to kind of angle you. But I've been able to get all of those now off the ceiling and it's going slow it's going much much slower than i thought but i'm not actually having to use the heat gun to get those off i'm just working them slowly with the metal i have done a little little tiny gouges in the ceiling and i'm trying to be careful i also realized when i took um the light fixture that's over my island and i'm going to can you show you that so that's the light over there. They didn't do anything underneath. They just plopped the light on the drywall. There is no paint underneath there or anything. So I need to clean a little bit of, 
of that off, we've been talking about maybe putting track lighting up above the island for the kitchen. Um, leave me a comment down below if you guys have track, track lighting in your kitchen. I know there are some cons to that and some cons because it's so close to the stove. Yeah, I would worry about grease and stuff and I haven't d definitely said we're doing track lighting in the kitchen, but it was a, it was a thought. Now, most of you guys know I did switch the trim color. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna move you guys over here, same position you were in yesterday. So this is, um, not helium, that's for the bathroom. Okay, this is how I originally was going to do it. And then my husband and I decided to go with a lighter trim. So this is now what the trim and the wall is gonna look like. And I think that's just gonna be enough brightness to brighten up the kitchen. Just because I think, I think if I put that dark of a color because I have so much trim and the baseboards also need to be done. Now, as for the railing over here, um, that's a 10 foot section railing and it's one piece. And we were, my husband and I, or well, more my husband, I haven't looked at it yet, but he investigated that. To replace it with what currently is there is about 200 and some odd dollars. <clears throat> of course, if we go with wood, that's gonna be a lot more expensive because we're gonna, we would have to make cuts. We'd have to cut each, each uh, um, angle and we'd have to count how many of, of the uh, poles in the center there are. So there's 20, so it would be times 20, and I don't recall what they were. I think they were $7 a piece, so that's 140 if you figure, or 20 times 20 is, is 140. So you're just looking for 100 at 140 with that. You're not talking about the, the top or the bottom, and I'm not sure that that's what they were. They could be more expensive, they could be less expensive, but... Those are things that we're thinking. I am gonna go with a white. Uh, I was originally thinking, oh, let's do a wood. But the more I thought about it, the wood wouldn't really fit with the door or the floor because it, like you said, eventually this floor is going to change down the road. It's not gonna happen right now. So, and I'm gonna keep the door white. It's gonna be a bright white that'll match the the entryway over, over um, I'm gonna point to it right there. So that whole entire inside will be white. And then of course the walls will be blue. So that was just the update. We're taking a little bit of a breather because it is getting hot outside. It's, it's well into the 80s. It's, it's gonna be about 93 today. And then it's supposed to shoot into 95 for Sunday and Monday, but Starting Monday, the humidity level is supposed to really wet. So I'm going to continue with the um, ceiling and let my husband rest a little bit. We may change things um, delivery date. I'm thinking we might have to change and push the furniture delivery into November. Ideally, I don't necessarily want to do that, but I may have no choice in the matter just because I need to get the kitchen painted and then we need to order the um, pantry for the, for the kitchen before the furniture gets here so I can start bringing the appliances back into the kitchen and I can arrange them how I want. And you might be like, well, if I have the kitchen all painted, why can't I just have the furniture delivered? Well, I certainly can. But if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. And I think this part, I think the railing is going to be the hardest part to do because we're either a, going to have to buy a new railing or we're going to have to really do a, um, a lot of sanding and spraying of this to get it back in, into the condition that it once was. So that's just the update for today. I'm not going to probably update you the rest of, of, of today. My husband did start to do the, some of the cabin, cabinets with, um, we're using 
the Mr. Mr. Clean um, pet odor. And yeah, my, my dogs marked the bottom cabinets, but not the ones that are above the countertops. Um, but this this will prevent odor from radiating for them. And we'll also use it for the floor and stuff once we, we clean the floor. So that was day four's update. I will see you guys tomorrow for day five update. My husband and I may actually take a break tomorrow. We'll do maybe a little bit of the ceiling and walls tomorrow. We may actually be going out tomorrow evening for our date night. So it may be a little bit condensed on Monday for Labor Day. I won't give you guys a really long update on the kitchen. But this will conclude day four. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number five.